Okay, I'm going to cover with you uh, how to properly estimate and design a drainage system. This was a one of our more complicated projects here, um, and this was a house in Prestonwood, and it floods. It's actually majorly flooded twice. The water's gotten up super high, so when that happens, you can't do anything about a drainage. Um, when when the water rises up way above the street level wherever our outlets are at it doesn't even matter if it only rises up a little bit above where the water is supposed to be let out at the the gravity drain systems won't work um, and they knew this but they also flooded a couple other times during minor rainstorms when the street wasn't necessarily flooded so they wanted to try to alleviate those issues um, and you see this house is kind of a mess and it's got a lot of different issues here so said so again this was this was a very complicated house and drainage and it ended up being a pretty extensive drainage system that we installed he had one drain right here or gutter that was coming down so we wanted to make sure that we tied that in um, the other issue was the fact that we couldn't get to it because it was surrounded by concrete um, so I recommended we ripped out there was already a crack here anyway so we ripped out all of this and put in a new black star gravel pathway right in here um, and one of the other external factors was the fact that they had a massive tree and you can see this tree stump right over here I'll try to fast forward it to uh, to that location um, they had us we ground down this stump and we had to actually excavate everything all the way down and create a natural swale put it back to the way that it was probably when the house was built 40 years ago um, so that's this side this side here did not drain but this wasn't even the worst part of it um, when you get to the other side of the house this is where the water first came in is what the homeowner says every single time it floods this is where it starts coming in first and the biggest problem was is the 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 people they had hired before tried to put in a combination of an area drain and french drain system here along the back and it was one little four inch pipe it just was not near enough to handle this and from what they told me too they acted like water actually even came in from the neighbor's yard and flowed towards the house so we had to deal with all the rain here um, they also they only have small gutters so we had to take all of that in consideration all of this roof line had to be taken into consideration um, and draining it out so we took out this we actually just totally removed this and put a new drainage system and then we stripped out all of this so, uh, grass and soil and created a new swale down this side as well too and let me zip around here to the uh, to the other side as well so this is the one outlet for the one drain they had in the entire property and it had to run through tree roots from this massive this beautiful live oak that was there but it was causing issues um, and then they planted every homeowner is supposed to have like what's called a swale a slight ditch along their side of the property that was non-existent either these homeowners or the previous ones had installed a bunch of plants right where the drainage system was supposed to be so it was totally stopping up the the drainage so we actually had to come through and we took all of this out you'll be surprised what homeowners are willing to do once you tell them the issues and what's really going to solve their problems um, they had one gutter here and water would start backing up um, they said they couldn't even use their front door because water just pools right here it doesn't this is one of the last places it goes in but even during a light rainstorm it does pool here so nobody wants to step in a puddle before they go into their front door so that was also an issue that we had to address um, and then taking out this this was their answer for a drainage system tying in with the corrugated pipe there they only had a couple gutters um, and so tying all of that in so I took all that into consideration here and I came up with a drainage plan for them and I'll show you this here because this was a major drainage issue I actually had to come through here and calculate the different areas 
Um, this was a different area. This was 1,550 square feet. I don't know why this is black and I didn't want to fix it. So, uh, but you can kind of see through there. 1,550 square feet of clay, light soil, vegetation there. This was the concrete patio that was left. This was clay, soil, light vegetation here as well. And then I had to calculate in the different roof pitches and what each gutter, uh, what each drain system was going to handle. So the reason why I divided it right here is because um, because of this bed, I came to the conclusion that all of this water was going to drain out this side and then all of this and this patio was going to drain out this side and then this section of roof was going to drain out this side. Now you might ask why I didn't do anything with the front because all this naturally flowed out as it was all this roof here flowed down the driveway naturally um, and all of that so the back was the main concern so that's what I had to calculate up and you see um, at 9.1 inches per hour we had 267 gallons per minute we needed a 6 inch PVC pipe at a 1% slope um, and it had to be at 1% or it would, wouldn't would work um, on the other side I can't remember if they had that or not so um, go back here Here was the plan that I came up with. Uh, we're going to remove this section of concrete, replace with a gravel walkway. That way we could lower this all the way to here. Strip and remove the grass and the grading down so all of this would flow nicely. New 4-inch PVC pipe. One of the biggest things that we try to do is only use 45s and Ys. So I will actually design in all of this water flows much better through 45s and through what we call Y's. So when two pipes are joined together, this is a Y. You can see right here, this is what's called a Y fitting. We never would use a T to where we would just go straight into this pipe and then this pipe would do like a 90 and come down. Water just flows so slow. Plus, let's just say that this current right here was more major than this current this current would actually totally stop this water unless it was designed this way when it's designed this way it doesn't matter that this flow from this gutter is is more severe than this slow trickle of water they're both going to just kind of flow in naturally with the way this is designed with a T you're going to have to um, this gutter again just kind of repeating what I'm saying this gutter because it's flowing at a high rate of speed because it's a gutter it's coming from the roof would be coming at so much of a higher velocity that it would actually stop all this water this would just sit here until it either got to be so high that it would push past that or it would go into the house so water takes the path of least resistance and it's not going to compete with it and then as you see here, at this point, I had to upgrade to a 6-inch pipe. All this was allowed to be in a 4-inch, uh, just due to the surface area. And then this had to be upgraded to a 6-inch down here. We recommended to remove the ligustrum tree. And you see, we went in here and we tied in all of these different gutters. And you see how I used 45s. And then here I'd use a Y to, to join in that other gutter and then a Y there. So that way, see how it's just a nice flow. You can just see how it all just flows to the street here. And then here, because it was a six inch curb, we did two four inch outlets. But I believe what the guys ended up doing on this project was one six inch outlet there at the street because we did not want to reduce water flow at all. We needed it to flow as smoothly as possible to the street. So that's how we design our drainage systems. When you're actually estimating this out on the site, what I recommend doing is starting here at the street, and you don't have to walk exactly where the drain line is going to go, but you need to take a direct path from the street, walk here, and walk to the furthest point. You know it's going to at least go to here, and you know that it's going to catch this, so then you need to 45 over to where that gutter's at. So then that way you can estimate that right there. Um, if you know this is here, you take the 40, you walk along the back of the house, 45, and then walk down. Each one of these 
drainage systems you needed to do a little Y on. And the reason why I went so far down here is we did allow them to keep the oleanders, but we had to design our drainage system around that. I couldn't just chop right through the root systems of that. We just followed the house foundation and then and then followed that over. So um, overall, this homeowner was extremely happy with the way that everything was done. He has had no issues since. Um, of course, we haven't had any floods, but he understands even this drainage system will not prevent flooding. Um, if water's rising higher than the street, all of this is totally worthless unless you have a sump pump. Um, so that's another option is if, if the street floods a lot, you can do a sump pump system and it's going to force that water out to the street even if it's above the outlet. So that's another option. You need to make sure that you check with the homeowners how quickly does your street flood because um, if it does flood quickly we need to make sure that we address that issue. Um, that's pretty much it. Just making sure essentially you need to be walking and pacing this pathway here and you need a 45 uh, and then continue. You basically just have to follow these things and measure all of this pipe. If you, this is a more complicated one, so you may not be able to estimate it on the spot. You might have to say, this is going to require more time and I need my design team to put this one together. We're happy to do that. But for simple drainage systems, let's say we were just doing this side, it would be very quickly to just pace it from here to the back and make sure you grab this gutter. And if there were any other gutters or low spots, you grab those too. And that's it. You can quote it right there on the spot very, very easily.